It's like the watermelon crawl. I call that the seal, the seal entry exposure. You ready to catch some stripers? No, I'm ready to catch Harry. Uh, we should make a documentary about saving the Harry. So here's the situation. On the Delaware River, there's an annual herring run that comes in spring. We used to be able to keep, keep 35 a piece, a piece, which may have been excessive. Now it's like 10 herring a piece. We catch them as bait, fish for the stripers, feeding them back to the fish that's already eating them. And they're going to take that right away from us because they think we're decimating the herring population or something. Because they know how, how addictive it's, it's going to be. It's not the millions of stripers. It's not the commercial netters. It's this group of guys who are circled over one little school of herring, catching them with sabiki rigs. Just to have enough herring to catch, there wow. has to be a lot of them to catch them on sabiki rigs. Was there like eight boats out here? And we're just feeding them back to the fish. It's the article number one of the argument. But come next year. You know what it is? It's like. Out of all these people who come here and fish for herring, there's going to be people who are going to want to catch them yeah. and use them for bait, and they're going to get like nailed. How many guys pay the city of Trenton $50 a piece to launch their boat out of there? Never mind the guys from Pennsylvania right. who have to pay $150 a piece. Right. They're not going to get that anymore, but they're still going to have to pay the dumb ranger to sit there while nobody comes fishing. It's retarded. And then they have a crane blocking half of the ramp with docks that aren't going to go there. They're going to go up here. Instead, guys who have a big boat like this have to put on waders and walk in the water to jump in their boat unless they want to get the bottom of it scratched. But that's just, that's neither here nor there. That's your pain. <laughs> that's my quality pictures, Steve. That's me on the soapbox.